friends and family of YouTube. Well, today I have a toy hauler that I'm going to show you. It is a Freedom Express 17 BLSE. And the uh, reason I'm starting inside, it, usually I start the videos on the outside of the RV, but it is pretty windy today, so I thought, hey, to save y'all some wind noise, let's start inside and uh, save the wind for last. So here we go. And we will start right beside the entry door. And uh, I do not have any lights on in here. So what you see is simply just the natural lighting that comes in this RV from, uh, from the sun. And uh, actually today it's pretty cloudy outside. So uh, anyway, let me show you around here. Well, what we've got, a lot of these uh, toy haulers, you will have a bed that hangs from the ceiling and the bed will lower down. Well, this one does not have that which I'm okay with it because it does have some other features that in my opinion make it kind of a better uh, unit anyway. What we've got here is this is a couch that will, as you see, it will uh, fold up and get out of the way. And uh, I'll tell you what, let me go ahead and see if I can unfold that and uh, see what it's like with it uh, sitting out. Okay, well, I let that strap down and that let it fall down flat. And you can see that that's a... I guess about the size of a twin bed, maybe just a little bit bigger. And uh, I'm sure that it will also fold up into a couch. Let's see what that's like. And there you have it. It did fold into a couch. And uh, I tell you what, it's pretty comfortable as well. And it was easy to do. So that's what I liked about it. But I could not do it and hold the camera at the same time. So uh, anyway, uh, right behind there, you can see it's got a window and got a, a dark shade, so uh, give it quite a bit of darkness in here. If you, uh, if you had the door closed, it would be pretty dark. And you've also got some of uh, these bars here that are inside the wall. That is where you can strap uh, stuff down. Let's say you want to haul a four-wheeler in here or a jet ski or whatever. You can also uh, have plenty of storage above the, uh, the couch here as well in that netting. And while we're here, I'll show you that there are speakers up into the uh, ceiling and also the HVAC system or actually just air conditioning. I'm sorry, air conditioning system mounted here in the ceiling. And uh, let's take you over here and show you what uh, the refrigerator freezer is all about. You can see that it's an over under model. It's made by Dometic. Plenty of room in here for storage. Let's see in the freezer. Yeah, even gave you a couple of crisper drawers. And I like that they've got a cutout right there. That way you can put you a two liter or a gallon of milk right there. And you've got plenty of room inside this door as well to put quite a bit of stuff. And this, uh, this refrigerator will run on gas or electric. And right here on the wall is your controls for your, uh, your battery, your fresh water tank, black water tank, uh, that sort of thing. And, and, uh, water heater. And let's take you and show you this, uh, show you the uh, kitchen and I guess living room layout here uh, they've got a good sized TV it looks about like a 25 inch and you've got a uh, Furion uh, stereo system which is also set up for um, DVD or uh, CD player I tell you what I like is I like these uh, control switches I'm starting to see these in a few uh, few RVs now and I like it because when you come in at night and it's dark and you're just kind of popping around on the wall it's easy to find them in the dark easy to get them to come on so uh pretty nice so anyway right under this um uh, this uh stereo and tv system you've got an area that's open and uh, i'll talk a little bit more about this here in just a few minutes but i want to go ahead and show you this kitchen area while we're here so you see we've got a two bowl sink and it's pretty good size and we've also got a uh, drawer here with uh, with plenty of storage and it's got a cut out here so that it can go uh, kind of surround the sink but what I like about this is you can take this tray out if you want to and take it outside if you're having a cookout that'll make it easy for you to have plenty of plenty of supplies outside you can just take the, the whole tray and we've got uh, storage up underneath the uh, the sink as well Plenty of room to put a few items. And while we're facing down here, I'll go ahead and show you that the microwave is down here as well. 
and there's a little bit of let's see what we got down here in the storage got a little storage area if you had a small garbage can that'd be a great place to put it and we've also got a uh, two burner cooktop there is not an oven in here but I tell you what I will check and see this is just a regular microwave it's not a convection type but I'm sure you could have that changed out if you wanted to and let's look at the cabinet space you got plenty of room up here in the cabinets you could put food maybe some larger pots and pans whatever you wanted to and it is a two cabinet door system and I do like that it's also got window right here over the sink give you plenty of natural lighting as you're trying to cook your food and you do have uh, do have a little bit of a cook space right here to put you some plates out or whatever as you're making your meal and still got a little room here too so now let me show you the bedroom all right you've got uh, you've got a, a bed here that's I'm, I'm guessing that is about a full size it is a little larger than a twin so two people could definitely sleep there and you can see that it does come with a table that the table will break down which is nice because you can take that table outside you could leave it in here whatever you want to do but at least it does fold up you got plenty of storage here behind the bed and uh, you can store clothes folded up in there and got an area above here as well and over the bed got plenty of room for storage in there as well and right at the foot of the bed you've got a window I'll tell you what I like about having a window right beside the bed you can see how it's butted up against the bed there if you crack that window and you open one of the uh, vent fans like a uh, max air fan or, or a similar brand to that and you turn it on it will draw air out through that window and come right by you so on a night when it's about 60 degrees outside and you want to have a nice cool breeze coming through to me that's a great way to sleep is to have that cool breeze coming through all right so uh let me show you the bathroom which is right by the bed and you see you've got a standard foot flush toilet here and it is uh it is a tighter space but you know um you're not hopefully you won't spend a lot of time in there <laughs> but uh got a stand-up shower this is not a tub shower uh, that lip right there is about three inches uh, drop down so this is not a tub this is a shower only I know sometimes it's hard to get an idea from dimensions through video so I like to try to give you uh, dimensions whenever I can and it does have a uh, standard uh, uh, shower head it's got a little shut off valve on here where you can shut it on and off uh, as the water is going to help save water and you've got a little high-rise area in the in the shower to give you a little extra room for your uh, for your head space if you're a taller person all right so let me back on out of here and uh, tell you what we'll go outside and show you some of the outside area I did need to show you before I leave the bathroom there's the light and there is the fan I am over at Johnston RV Center today over in uh, Decatur, Alabama. And they have told me that if you mention that you saw this ad, this video, you can get that replaced for free. All you got to do is mention it. Hey, I, I saw the video of this RV on, on this channel. And when you mention that, you will get it replaced for free you will get a free upgrade now you can only get one now this RV does come with two fans you've got one here in the kitchen you got one in the bathroom I'm sure they would let you choose which one you wanted to change out for free but I uh, just wanted to point that out to you so anyway let's go outside and as I said earlier it is windy here today but uh, here in just a moment I will tell you my thoughts on good and bad of this uh, RV we'll go back inside so uh, you can see that it does have two propane tanks you've got the uh, spare tire mounted right on the front here you've also got an electric tongue jack and you've got enough room that you can put two batteries up here on the front as well and you've got four corner jacks and you've also got some uh, storage here on the outside let me see if this is unlocked yeah 
so I've got it open on the other side so there is plenty of room here and that table I showed you earlier I would imagine you could fit it through the other side there because that door is a little bit larger and this is your water heater here and let's see what we've got in this little door I haven't seen this little door before and I still don't know what that is huh. all right well folks you get to learn some of this stuff the same time I do unfortunately I still don't know what it is but uh, anyway here is your uh, this is your black water and your gray water uh, release that's where you uh, let them out and you've also got a 30 amp uh, electrical service here you've got cable TV satellite hookup city water and uh, all that great stuff you do have a dual axle which I'm glad to see that it does have a dual axle on here because this is a toy hauler so uh, anyway let me keep on going around the side here show you this big door you've got a big door and uh, I tell you what somebody Somebody pointed out to me that they like the fact that it does have lights on the back, which is nice that if you're uh, bringing something in or out, you can turn those outside lights on. And, uh, you know, you may be wanting to work on something out here uh, if you're working on cars, motorcycles, or whatever. But uh, somebody had also mentioned that these are good for handicap because you can let that big door down. And if you're handicapped, you can easily roll up into the RV. And you can see that it does have a two-step entry here. And I'd like to mention that this is a Luma Cage construction. You can go online and read a little more about that. And it also has the Asdell uh, exterior siding. And I do like that. That is some good stuff. I've also got a uh, cable TV hookup on this side as well if you want to put an outside TV. You've got a 110 electrical outlet here, and you've also got it pre-wired for solar. So, uh, and here's uh, from the other side, looking into the uh, storage. And I forget to mention many times that uh, about these awnings, because I personally don't use awnings that much, but a lot of people do like them. But uh, anyway, I want to point out that this one does have an awning on it, and uh, you've got two outside speakers here as well. So uh, anyway, let's go back inside and talk about the pros and cons of this particular unit. All right, well, there are no perfect RVs out there, but hopefully I can help you find the perfect one for you. So anyway, that's what I want to touch on today is just a little bit of the things that I would change about this particular RV or the good and the bad of it. So let's get with that. And one thing I forgot to mention just a moment ago when I was uh, showing you the TV area is you've got a 110 outlet in here and there's also some USB uh, charging location here so you could set your phone down inside of this area here and be able to charge up your laptop or your uh, cell phones or whatever so I thought that was pretty nice. Uh, so anyway, let's talk about the bad of this particular unit and I'm not saying there's a whole lot of things bad about it but I do like to point out what I can to you. All right, well, one thing I don't quite understand is why we have a fan here right over the kitchen, and then just two feet away we have another fan. Not sure why they would do that, but, uh, you know, to cut cost, I personally would have just put one fan there, and I would have put uh, a higher upgrade fan. But the great thing, again, that I mentioned earlier is Johnston RV will give you a free one if you mention it that you uh, watch this video. Now, another thing is the microwave. I'm not crazy about having a microwave at knee level. I would personally rather have that microwave up above, but I do realize that if you did have it up above, you would have lost some of your cabinet space. So it is kind of a, you know, what's more important to you. Now, the other thing that I noticed is there was nowhere to hang clothing. If you were to have clothes hanging on a clothes hanger, you would not have anywhere to do that. Now what I would think would be a great place is to hang you a bar right under this TV center and have your clothes hanging down this way. Now of course if you uh, didn't want everybody seeing your laundry that might not be something that you would like to do but to me that would be a great place to put it. So now what are some of the pros to it? I do like that you've got this couch that'll fold up here and get completely out of the way and uh, I like the fact that you can see the TV real well from that couch. 
I do uh, personally like to like I like to watch TV from the bed there's not a TV in the bed area but uh, you could I guess sleep with your head on this end and maybe be able to swivel this TV out just a little bit hopefully you could catch some of the TV from the bed Alright, and another thing I really like is I like this full-size refrigerator-freezer combo in here. And I tell you what, my refrigerator-freezer is not even the size of just that portion right there. And I've always wished it was larger, so I tell you, this is uh, really nice to see this small of an RV having this large of a refrigerator-freezer. Uh, something else that I did not talk about when I was outside is that this has a heated underbelly underneath this uh, trailer it is heated under there and the good of that is is that keeps your water tanks from freezing and uh, causing a lot of issues now you couldn't go to the north pole in it but you could definitely survive out in some some barely cool uh, climates and again here is the uh, numbers on this particular unit you see it's a 2019 freedom express 17 blse and here is the price that Johnston RV Center here in North Alabama. They've got two locations, one in Coleman and one over in um, Decatur. So uh, this is at the Decatur um, location that we're looking at this particular unit. Now I will give you a link down below about this, uh, about this warranty. So uh, Mr. Johnston, we, he's got a video where he completely explains that. So uh, man, it's a great warranty system. So. Uh, Make sure to check that out. It's down in the show more area right under this video. Well, anytime I can find an RV this small and have a uh, dual axle on it, man, you've got my attention already. So I really enjoyed this one, folks. I hope y'all did too. Please give me the like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. And hey, leave some comments down below of what you liked about it too. Thanks a lot for watching, folks. Y'all have a great day. Hope to see y'all real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.